Hi, it's Bunny, and today I am going to be redoing my old artwork once again in the same drawing, actually. This drawing I've redone three times, and I don't know, it's kind of just become a yearly tradition. So here is the original. I don't know if you can tell, it you probably can't. This is this is very this is very hard to recognize. But this is Princess Presto <laughs> from Super Y. And I believe I drew this when I was five during kindergarten. And I remember being super proud of it at the time. And since then I have redrawn it not once but three times. This is my 2020 edition. 2021. And you may recognize this girl if you've been around my channel since last year. Editing Bunny here. Yes, I drew her twice in one year. And I am going to redraw Princess Presto once again. I just want to make it clear that this isn't really Princess Presto anymore. Just in case the Super Y fans come at me if there's any watching this video. But I decided to base my drawing off of my past drawings rather than the actual character herself. I also decided to change the pose because I feel like posing is something I've gotten a little bit better at throughout the year, even though most of it's going to be covered by her dress. I was struggling a lot with the face. I don't know, I think it was something about the angle that her head was, but I just could not get it right. Also, please ignore the annoying whirring sound in the background. That would be my fan. I went and fixed up the face off camera a little bit, and I think I've gotten to a point where I can live with it. Now it's time for the coloring, and I also decided to do line art on this one, seeing as I've been outlining a lot of my recent drawings lately. Also, there was a few weeks in between filming these two because I took a little break, so I did repaint my nails different colors. I decided to use my Crayola Colors of the World set to color her face. However, they work very different than normal Crayolas, so that kind of confused me. But I really do like the skin tone range. I feel like not many people are going to call this an improvement. However, I do think it was in some small ways. Obviously, my hands haven't gotten any better, but I definitely try more poses, and I've been trying to work on my background and lighting lately. Not that that means I'm very good at it. But I don't know, small little things, and in general, I feel like the work I've put into drawing this year has made this an improvement to me, even if it doesn't look quite like it. I did decide to add in the cape that I took away last time because I thought it was weird, but I thought it worked for the pose that I was drawing. I still have no clue how to draw fabric, but I did my best. So here's the finished product. I'm sorry if this was a little bit of a rambly video. It's been a long time since I've done a long, a long video like this, but I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.